Let's get a check of the weather, the beautiful Christmas weather. Indra, Look at please. that spirit, Kate. I wow. like this. See, I give her one little gift, and she's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about the system that is making its way offshore. This was the troublemaker, the one we all dealt with over the weekend. This guy is now making its way offshore and should not be a problem anymore. Now we just have the stuff we're all looking forward to, and that is where are we going to see some snow? Tiny little wave. Can't even see it on this map. And then a bigger system, the clipper that is expected to make its way through and bring the heavier snow. Let's start with the first one. This is the one that's going to bring heavy snow right off the lakes just south of Buffalo. So pretty isolated here, but it is also the wave that could bring just a couple of flurries in through New York City. So that's the first one. What we're looking for is the bigger system is the clipper. Fast moving, remember, going all the way through the plains. Notice if you're trying to go through midnight mass, now this is on the way, of course, this is East Coast time. Notice around Chicago, we could start to see some flurries, maybe around Minneapolis, trying to get a couple in the action there. And then we have Christmas Day itself. Right now, it looks like the timing, 8 o'clock Eastern in the morning. We're starting to see some possibly in through Indiana and also in through Michigan. So those are the best chances there. And the mountains, you know, they're okay. They're not too bad. Still looking for a good two to four inches of snow. Who are we going to be talking about? We're talking about the Dakotas and through Minnesota, also in through Wisconsin, in through Michigan. So not a bad chance here. Looks pretty good, at least overnight tonight, in through tomorrow. For everyone else, it's the temperatures. And they're going way down. We already felt it this morning. A good 30-degree temperature drop from just yesterday morning on the East Coast. So that's how we know that cold front did go through. And, of course, the temperatures will continue to go below normal by Christmas Day itself. Look at that. Talking about a chill, 20s and 30s in the air. But there's a lot of people that are going to be happy with a white Christmas, but they're more like around the lakes. Here, okay, it's cold. It's fine. <laughs>